Hey, Dave, how's it going, buddy? Hi, everybody out there in YouTube land. It's the Jim. And Dave's Beer, beer review. review. And happy How holidays, as we say on January 14th. How do you? All right, here we go. Hey, Dave, hey, what's on tap for this beer review? We have some uh, uh, Du Boisin. What? That's the name of their brewery. It's Du Boisin. Oh, uh, it's the Brazier Du Boisin. Du Boisin? Du Boisin. Du Boisin. Because I like to have a croissant for a morning. From 1769. 69. 69! <laughs> this is a Imperial Christmas Ale. Imperial Christmas Ale, it's that sounds awesome. Scandals Noel, otherwise known in their, nor their regular country of, of Belgium as Bush Noel. Skull this Noel, okay. This is... Uh, it was introduced in 1991 to respond to consumer demands for the ideal beer to add luster to their end of the year celebrations. Nice. Luster. Okay. It says here, brewed especially for the Christmas period. Scaldus Noel is a brilliant red amber ale that will delight the most demanding connoisseurs. It's imported by Wetton Importers, Inc. of Chantilly, Virginia, but is brewed and bottled by Brazier de Boisson Papier, Belgium. 12% mm -hmm. ABV. It also says that it's brewed solely with malts, hops, and sugar candy and water. It is a filtered, top fermented beer with an alcohol volume of 12%. The use of caramel malts produces a copper-colored beer with a full, rounded taste. Uh, it owes its fruity taste and subtle hop aromas to the well-thought-out choice of hops in this brew. It said it's filtered in a limited volumes, but has already achieved the status of a classic beer for the end-of-the-year celebrations. The ABV is 12%. The IBU is, is 21, the color is dark amber, and the type is strong ale. Dark strong ale. Well, this is definitely a strong ale. Actually, the uh, candied sugars you mentioned earlier are typical of uh, Belgian beers. That's what it says. That's how they get that uh, ABV up there. They're just like, well, there's some more sugars for the yeast to feast upon. And 12%, that's respectable. They, they build your own six-pack, huh? Yep. Uh, so some of my friends on Untapped gave us very nice reviews. Yeah, so if you want some, there's, uh, there's probably still some left in Acme, dude. Well, I did get two. I, one I, for you, one I for me. Like two, but my refrigerator is totally full with uh, Molson, Triple X, and Labatt's Ice. Nice. I mean, to the brim. Oh, I, look at that I, head there, dude. No, I tried to pour I, it as I, nice as possible, but that's... Uh, Good two, two and a half inch uh, head there. And lots of still good carbonation. I don't know if you can see that as I get closer here, but let's do a little sniff here. Look how much I got to go. That smells like a quad almost. It's very sweet. Does it? Well, I can smell the bottle. Well, last quad I had was a Belgian that I made. It was pretty good. That smells like medicine. What's up with that? It smells like, like brown sugar. A little car well, caramel, yeah. caramel, depends who you talk to. Medicine. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's just do it, Dave. This is for the holidays. Merry okay. Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Merry New Kwanzaa, Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Well, it went down wonderfully. Oh, it has oh. that. That is very strong. That's very Belgian y. That is wonderful. That's a lot of alcohol, man. That's a lot of alcohol. Very, very nice. That's a lot of heat, dude. Well, it's actually kind of mellow, I think. I mean, I get some heat in the back end, but it's not burning or anything like that. No, oh, yeah, heat. wonderful Belgium, absolutely. I'm going to give that's this a uh, high score for sure. I think I might be a diabetic again just from drinking this. Yeah, it could happen. It could happen. I should go back to uh, Acme Build Your Own Six Pack section when I come back from my business trip. In a week and uh, see if they have any more of this. This is worthwhile. Yeah, it's kind of like a little iffy. I'm just like, why is it in this section? Is it cruddy? But I guess somebody talked at me in the buying and they're just like, nobody's buying this probably because the price was up there. You know, and they okay. jacked up their uh, 
go to the store. Twelve pack or uh, six pack price from twelve dollars to fourteen. I guess uh, inflation everywhere. These fourteen days. at Acme. Yep. I wonder if they did that at Giant. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised either. Then yeah, they go off each other. You so. know, gas goes up, everything else goes up eventually afterwards. Oh, uh, you don't need to tell me, man. I'm like, I paid how? I bought a hoagie from Wawa today for the first time in like a year and a half. It's the first time, I've, okay, that I've been like you know, things are kind of like slated down a little bit, so I can like I can go into Wawa for the first time in how long? Okay, sure. And the hoagie was two dollars more than what I used to buy it for. No, I'm not surprised. I was actually tempted to stop by, and for those of you who aren't from this part of the country, United States at least, Wawa is a local convenience store. Uh, they've recently upgraded most of their places to Super Wawa's. They include a gas station. And uh, they're also well known from their coffee. Their coffee is very consistent from location to location, so it's a good brand experience. Uh, I had to quit coffee myself. But, uh, yeah, and so they have a little deli in there that will make things to order. It's uh, quite nice. I've always enjoyed their sandwiches. I enjoyed the uh, chicken sandwiches, their turkey hoagies. Um, haven't had too many... Oh, there are other offerings, though. I sort of always go there just for that. But uh, a lot of Italian places here have a little bit better in terms of hoagies. But, uh, yeah, good stuff. I was actually going to stop in and get a, a turkey hoagie shorty the other day, which is the smallest one you can buy. But uh, for some reason, I figured, oh, I had some leftovers at home. I'm just going to go home and have that, which was chilly. You're taking the bread off anyway, so why would you have wanting a hoagie from Wawa? Well, I might take the. I don't know. I, I can have a little bit of bread, but I do try to avoid the carbs. I had a burger the other day. I just took off the top part of the bun. I kept the bottom part on. It was actually really good. It was from Five Guys. It was, but it was the lunch we were brought, so it's all I was going to get. So I'm like, I guess I got to eat it. Uh, uh, I understand it. Yeah, but it was nice. I just take little bites and chew, 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 because I don't know if I mentioned this to our audience, but I've got Shotsky's ring. The, the ring of death. Yeah, the ring of choking, more like, or drowning in your own lungs. Ring of death. But I'm going to proceed on the 21st of January, hopefully get that taken care of. But you not looking for any commentary on that. So, Dave, it. give us a thought on the flavor. What notes do you get? Um, it's got a lot of alcohol. Uh, I need to have some more. I haven't had any a little bit. Let me see. Oof. Um, eight. I give it an eight. I like yeah, I eight. think I'm going to give it an eight too. That's really good, actually. Harry Tucci, uh, this one guy I met in Capone's one time, I became friends with on tap. He's a guy who uh, goes around the breweries and tells them what they should do to become successful. Uh, he gave this uh, ten, and I got to tell you, it's a, definitely a Belgian beer. It's got the classic sort of caramel, sugary sort of sweetness to it. Not that sweet. It's actually kind of dry, which is weird. But that is speaking to the 12% ABV. Uh, right. The heat on the back end is there, but it's mellow. I don't think you would notice any difference between an 8% and a 12% in terms of the heat on the back end on this. Uh, right. Definitely got belgian characteristics, a little bit of a clove in there. Whoa. Um, it's almost like they used a uh, Abbey Ale yeast with this. Uh, very, very nice. Very well done. Uh, you can definitely tell that the body where is... Very Belgian-y, which I realize that may be a uh, ad adjective that we're overusing a little bit. But, you know, when you add sugars, especially uh, candied sugars, it does tend to make it a little bit more of a thinner mouthfeel. So it does sort of have that quality to it. But it is a magnificent beer. I love the whole idea of an imperial Christmas ale. Uh, because, let's face it, if it's Christmas, you're not driving. You're at home with your family. You're having a little bit of dinner. Uh, you're just chilling out. And uh, I would have loved to have had this on Christmas, quite frankly. Sure. Because uh, I was uh, I was a chef, so I had to uh, sort of wait till later in the night to uh, indulge. But this is very, very good. Definitely 8 out of 10 for me, too. You're a chef? Well, I was being the chef for the family, a family chef. Oh, you. I understand that. You're right. You're right. I would never professionally yeah. call myself a chef because I don't deserve that. Well, you're not even yeah. a shoe chef yet, so I'll give you a chef. A sous chef? Sous chef. A boy named sous chef? Chef. A sous chef. You know, the one that gets bitched upon and tells you what to do. Anyway. I thought a sous chef I, was I, a I, chef that would, like, call a lawyer on you and sue you. Sue you? A, sous a suing chef. chef. 
You don't like my food, I'm going to call my lawyer. Welcome, sous chef. Actually, I want to become a sous vide chef. Sous chef? Sous vide. You're ready. I like it. It's an 8%. An 8 and an 8%. And I like it as an no, 8. No. You like not. it as an 8 too, so we're good, right? Yes. You're 8 out of 10 is what you're trying to say. It's a 12% ABV. It is? Oh, why well, give it a 12 then? <laughs> Ooh, highest score ever from Dave. All right. We're going to put Dave uh, to bed after this review, me. everybody, I so you can calm down over there. I 8 out of 10 from Dave. 8 out of 10 from Jim. A excellent eight. Belgian yeah. Imperial Christmas Ale. Thank you very much. The only reason we don't give it a 10 is because, you know, eh, it's good, but it's not all that good. Are you seeing me ball? It's okay. What's the matter for you? Hey, what's the matter for me? dun 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 Okay. And there you have it. We like to end the beer review by saying that women who are pregnant shouldn't drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth defects. You shouldn't operate a vehicle or or heavy machinery, machinery. if you're under the influence of alcohol. And of course, excessive yeah. drinking can cause health problems. Don't do that. And the reason we do all these different beer reviews, and we save the best for last today, is we believe that you, our viewers, should drink great beer. And have a good laugh to your friends. Be our friends. Be our friends. Subscribe to our channel. Just thumbs up, thumbs down. We'll see you next time on the Jim and Dave Beer Review. See you, Dave.